Hello everybody and welcome back to Morphine Folio. We are jumping in once again. Let's randomise our boy and see who we might get on this day of days. Let's have a little look-see. We get Golem. Oh. Oh yes. Oh, I do love a Golem run. Hell yes. I love, love, love a Golem run. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. And we start off with a dice room as well, which could be kind of interesting. Um, I never quite remember what to do at the start here. It's... I've got to... I think it's grind this one for free, right? And then I get broken rocks for 40% chance to break. Nearby rocks. Nearby rocks have 70% chance to break. Along with 20% chance of pills. Oh my god, that's kind of interesting. Okay. Uh, and then also, what does this do? 25% chance to block red heart damage. Red heart damage is always half a heart. Now that, that is particularly quite spicy. Let's just take this real quick and crush it for some health. But these two here, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy with. I'm pretty happy with. Um, the Red Heart Health one, while not useful now, I feel like could be super, super good later on. And I feel like it's one that we probably don't want to smelt. Um, just because of sacrifice rooms. Like, I feel like smelting it is going to like lower its potency and potentially uh, remove one of those effects. And I'm not sure which one. It's still something, like a pretty big gripe I have with Golem. I think he's a fantastic character. So damn fun. But I really wish the EID descriptions told you what the smelted effects did. The fact that it's like, oh, when you smelt them, they get weaker. But you have no idea in which way they get weaker. Because some of them, it's like super obvious. Some of them, it's like... Oh, well, of course, it's just going to lower the amount of stats they give. But others, it's really unclear as to what weaker actually means. Uh, but as for the question of the day today, um, this is another one from uh, Datboy that's just been leaving this insane list of them. If you want to leave more for me, please do in my Discord. There's a channel for it. Also, yes, please. I'll take care, Stai. Um, I will always take care, Stai. Um, but yeah, the, the question of the day today is, if there was something, one thing about the universe you could change, what would it be? And, like, I, I kind of thought about this, and there's obviously a lot of big ones that you could say, like, oh, I wish there was no disease, I wish there was no poverty, all that sort of stuff. Excluding the super obvious ones that I'm, so, I'm sure pretty much 90% of people would say, I'm going with, I wish that food that was bad for you wasn't bad for you. <laughs> I wish that the nice tasting foods weren't the worst for you. That would be a huge improvement to just... This is fucking bullshit. Oh my god. Uh, it would just be a huge improvement to human existence. If you could eat food that is normally bad for you and it not be bad for you. Like, my god. That would be that would be life changing. I will say, like, I've, 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 as I'm coming back from holiday, I've been dieting a good bit because I needed to. I've been going to gym like every day, which again I needed to. Um, but I've not been eating that bad to be honest. I mean, I mean, as in like I've been trying to eat healthy. It's not been that boring. Like I had. Um... Oh hello! I always forget this is a boss. I always forget how it works as well, which is the scarier thing. Um. Um. I don't know how to not be hit by that. This is confusing. Is that a champion one of those, by the way? This little pewter thing. How do I dodge this? <laughs> My brain doesn't work that well. How the fuck do I dodge this? I'm really getting pummeled by these lads. Oh, that almost teleported me there. The fucking spewter thing in the middle does not help the situ- How the flipping shit do I do? I am getting demolished by that ball. If someone could uh, point out to me how exactly you um, you get a, do, do that boss without taking that much damage, that'd be nice. Fire short range. Okay, this is the one where it's just like... Yeah, I'm not that arsed about that, I'll be honest. I'm just going to take it and, uh, and grind it down. Get some of that health back that I just wasted the fuck out of. But yeah, like, being able to make it so that food that normally is really bad for you but tastes really nice isn't bad for you to be so good. But yeah, like I was saying, like, I've been having a lot of different foods that I didn't really think I'd be able to have on a diet. Like, just now I had a, um, a pizza with some turkey, some tzatziki, um, and some onion, and it was fucking delicious. It was so nice. 
and it was like 250 calories. It was like nothing at all. Is this a secret room? It is. Okay, what do we get here? When taking damage, deal a minor... D deals minor damage to all nearby enemies, knocks them back, and inflicts them with bruise. That's pretty cool, but again, I think that's another one that we're just going to trade for HP right now. Right. Back through here we go. We get cash from entrance. Ooh. This is tempting. We could trade Red Heart containers. I'm gonna try it. Case of Saturn. Prevents contact damage from enemies spawned by other enemies. Touching these enemies... Um, prevents contact damage from enemies spawned by other enemies. Touching these enemies will deal fat, flat 15 damage to them and... Charge the item. Shots fired on death will not deal damage. Unusual fire a cluster of tears and burns depending on your charge. Intriguing. Okay. Kind of kind of interesting. I've not really used this before, I don't think, but we'll give it a go. I realise this makes my other trinket not super useful now because I don't have any red health, but I wanted to try that out. I've not really used those um, those beggar dudes before. So, to charge it, I've got to run into enemies that have been spawned by other enemies. Also, Monstro's Lung Cursed Eye seems interesting. I don't exactly know how they combined. By the looks of it, not well. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take a little look online and make sure, but... Um, cursed Eye... Isaac. To do. Let's have a look. Synergies, interactions. All of these overwrite Cursed Eye. Okay. I mean, I like Monstro's Lung more anyway, so I don't really care. As long as it overwrites it in the way that I can no longer teleport either, then I don't really care. But if it just overwrites it as in its, its effect, but I can still be teleported, then I'm gonna be a little I'm gonna be a little pissed. Right, so, in theory, oh my god, the charge time's so long on this. In theory, the way this should work is when this guy dies, he's going to spawn enemies, and I can run into those enemies and charge up my active from it. Yes, I can. Okay. And same with you. Now, that dealt damage to me. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't work under some circumstances. That's good to know. That was a bit of a bit of a bit of a weird hit there, sir. Didn't really like that. Yeah, overall, I think this is a bit of a bit of a stinky dooky active. I, I it seems just way too niche to be useful, but I will try my best to make use of it. I will try my best. Now, I because the thing is, it's not clear. That is an enemy spawned by another enemy. So I don't know if I, I I can walk into this guy or not. I have absolutely no idea. And honestly, if you give me shoot the whoop, I think I'll probably take it. Because this, it just doesn't seem good. It seems way too niche. Fifty percent chance for the room clear awards are replaced by a heart bomb key if you have a little. If you have little. That's three of your lowest pickup when crushed. Okay, we should probably crush that now then. Uh, let's let's leave it there for now though. Right, do the boss. Are you kidding me? Is is that all it did? It spewed out like three burns and like two shots. That's fucking worthless. This active is dookie. Explosions ca uh, cause rocks that deal two times tier damage to fall from the sky. Falling rocks are turned into friend. Fall falling rock projectiles are turned friendly. Sounds kind of good. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
I'm not smelting anything to me right now. I think I'm just going to crush everything I have and, and fresh start it. And I'm just going to take this. And then I'll check the devil deal. I've got enough health. I'll take that. Just because it's um, going to be decent with Monstro as long to keep it all grouped. It's actually pretty shit with Monstro as long now, thinking about it. I have to be very, very uh, careful about when I take my finger off fire. Right, let's get out of here. So far, um, yeah, I don't know what to think about this run. We've unfortunately got an item that overwrites another. We've not got any fire rate and our active cost us two full red hearts and seems terrible. Or at least it seems very, very hard to understand. I'm not going to outright call it terrible, but I don't really understand it myself. 50% chance to get an extra set when picking up coins. Chance to replace rocks with full gold rocks. Nice, okay. Now I wish that I kept the one that destroys rocks that destroys rocks. But hey-ho, here we are. God damn, I need a fire rate increase so bad. What's with all these enemies that are like spewing up blood? That's not normal. Like, look at this guy. He's got like a blood thing coming out of him. What the hell's that from? Is that like a bug in a, a mod interaction that's uh, going awry? I would assume so. Right, let's quickly grab that. I'm going to back down over here. Another one of you, thank you. Crush you. Gave us three keys, nice. Guaranteed to grind into a rare rock trinket. This is grind, so we'll grind it. Periodically begins sucking in all nearby enemies. That is not very useful for us at all. I'm going to reroll the hell out of that. Size down, extra size down, and holding another geode. That is not useful either. The mining machine costs one less cent. When smell is 50% chance to activate. See, at least that tells me. Okay, that's kind of useful. I'll take that. And then come back over here. Um, This is tricky. I think I want to get rid of the stalagmite one now. This going to be a lot of trading. A lot of, a lot of swip swapping. A lot of swip swapping. Right. Grab this. Yeah, it's not been a super, super successful start here, I'll be honest. I have an Excel floor here as well. I really just think our main problem right now is our fire rate is so terrible. Secret room looks to be here. I'm going to try that out. It is indeed. That gives us another trinket. Chance to reroll pickups into sack. Spawns a spat sack when crushed. That's pretty darn good. I think... I think we start smelting stuff to us now. I'm going to smelt both of the ones that I've got to me right now. I realise it's, it's a fairly heavy cost, but I think both of these are seemingly pretty good when smelted. And then this is pretty useful on its own. Is that a dime there? It is. That would be a very nice thing to blow up right there. We get a bomb, so keep that in mind. Oh, bugger, I always forget how these enemies work. No, no, you bastard. Caught me in a corner. Damn it. Yeah, this is just sucky. <laughs> this run... Yeah, like, look. What the hell? All the bubbles have blood spewers coming out of them. What's this about? What, what, what's going on here? I, I, I clearly downloaded a mod that has, has balked things. Weird. Either that or it's something to do with my active. Maybe... Okay. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Okay, it is something to do with my active. I just realized. So any enemy that has that blood spewer is is one that I can use my active on, I see now. So the bubbles are actually pretty damn good. Okay, we've got to try and utilize that a little bit.
Got to try and utilize that a little bit here. So if it's spewing blood, we can walk into it and not take any damage. Very good to know. We've got some bombs. We can go get that dime now. Oh, bit of a tricky one. Bit of a tricky one. I'm definitely playing pretty bad, but this is my first time back on Golem in a little while, so you can forgive me for that, I think. And if you can't, then screw you. <laughs> so someone, someone left a comment the other day that I found really funny. They basically just left a comment on my video saying, your videos are too long and boring. Make them 10 to 15 minutes, please. I'm like, if you're going to call my videos boring, just fuck off and watch someone else. <laughs> like, why are you asking me to create different content if you think the content I already make is boring? What's, what's the point in me servicing you? Just go watch another Isaac YouTuber that does videos in 10 to 15 minutes. Why the hell are you here? <laughs> like, I'm fine if you tried it out just to see if you'd like it and then didn't, but don't go complaining to me that my content isn't for you. Like, just don't watch it. Simple as. I'm not going to change the entire concept of my channel because one person's like, eh, I find it boring. I don't give a shit. By the way, if you haven't been able to tell already, we are very nearly dead. Like, look at that. I've walked to all those enemies. Look how many charges I got for it. Huzzah. I literally can't even use my active. Yeah, just... just... Scrap that run. I'm having a hot streak of just dying a lot recently, but goddamn, that run needed to go. That run was trash. Oh, I fucking... D I trashed the wrong one. God damn it. Beggars pay out twice and um, spawns a judgment when crushed. Stacking minus stats down on each room. All stats up when crushed proportional to cleared rooms. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Um, I think this one we just get rid of. This one's kind of interesting. If we can, if we can hold out like a full floor or maybe two, then this could be really good. It just depends on what stats we end up getting from our boss and item rooms. Because right now, obviously, our stats aren't great. They're basically Isaac's stats. Oh, you can spawn a Bernie? I've never seen that happen before. So that's pretty good going to start with. That's, that's very nice. Okay, that is a fairly decent stats down. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking Tammy's head here. That's going to be a, a saving grace for these stats down, I think. Oh, well, these are these are different looking. What's what's going on with that, these guys' face? They don't normally look like that. Okay, damn. This is uh This is getting kind of kind of crazy with the stats down. It did say when crushed, right? It was when crushed. It better be when crushed. I'm pretty sure it said when crushed. If I do all this and I don't get the stat up, I'm going to be sad. Damn. Probably should have used it on the bigger enemy there. But oh well. What's done is done. I'm probably going to be using my bombs on this boss fight, I'll be honest. The damage downs are uh, the most damning right now. They're really hurting. Speed down's pretty bad as well, actually. But luckily, Tammy's head comes in clutch, as always. The fact that you can have multiple of them on screen at once is just, just something else. Right. Let's do our boss. That was a 
pretty bad. Oh, no. That was bad in so many senses of the word. Okay, I don't have the speed to escape this man's grasp. Is This isn't fair. Yeah, this isn't fair. I I don't have the speed to... Dude, it, the bombs aren't hitting him either. This is not... I didn't know that you would have too low speed for that boss. I didn't even know that was plausible. Okay, we go again. 20 minutes in, just starting the first run. Two to three fleas of pollution at the start of rooms. Okay, nice. Rocks leak, leak gas. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know it was plausible to be too slow for Blighted Urban. Also, just thoroughly very, very annoyed that apparently um, the bombs just didn't want to hit. Soul of Isaac's pretty good off the bat here. This is a good rock here with all these, all these jumpy boys. I like this. You should gotta excuse my, um, excuse my failures. My brain don't really work too well. Why say many words when few words do trick? I'm not sure how the, the rocks leaking gas thing is meant to really help much. <laughs> but I'll, I'll accept it for what it is. It's fine. Oop, oop, there. Oh, it worked. It did something. It did something. Huzzah. Nugget bombs. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to take anti-grab, definitely. It's just a huge fire rate up if you tap fire. And to be honest, I actually like anti-grab anyways because it has some cool synergies. Lots of bomb spiders here. Stay out of the way, the bomb spiders. Take out the host boy first. Worry about everything else after. Come on, poison some of them at least. Damn you. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. This is a better start than we've been getting so far. Much better start than we've been getting thus far. Plop a bunch of these down. I wish I got this boss. This would have been way easier. Instead, we got like one of the only bosses that could outspeed us. That is something that I will take. Damage up there is lovely. This I'm just going to crush straight away. The gas cloud thing helped me out there, so I'm going to keep that around for now. Right. Down we go. God, I can't believe the just inherent failure that is that is being bequeathed upon me here. The Scuzzit things are real good. I'm liking them. Okay, don't use our bombs. We won't be finding secret rooms whenever we can, really. Don't use our bombs on anything else. Apart from Tinted Rocks, I think. A lot of chests that we can get on this floor already, but yeah, I don't think they're worth our bombs right now, especially when we have so few. Ooh, damn. You said I'm all a light fella. Fire, there you go, thank you, disperse. So, the runs like this are always annoying though, because I feel like whenever I die like this much, I, it, 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 it doesn't ruin it, but it kind of proper like gets in the way of my flow of commentary. It kind of resets my brain a little bit. That's very nice for us. Yeah, it kind of resets my brain a little bit, and I don't know. It's 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 difficult. It, de it definitely is difficult. I'm hoping it's not too noticeable. Now, this could be a good use of bombs, but at the same time, if we can just get one of these guys to... Okay, we got one of them, and it only gave us two coins. Are you kidding me? Very saddening. They can pay up up to six coins per rock, I'm pretty sure. We're getting two there. It's a little depressing. Okay, get your eyes out your face. I hurt myself with that. You, I'm just demonstrating my idiocy over and over and over again in in just a major, major way. It's it's 
quite depressing. Watching a man sink into madness. Truly is something. Oh, God damn it. Need our bottom to have more rocks so we can poison things. Not that this is going to be super powerful, but still. Every advantage we can get at the minute. Please, every advantage we can get. These enemies are really cool. Like this, like, bugger. Okay, it's a good, it's a good subtype of enemy. Blood Clot's nice. Um, blinds nearby enemies and grants a decaying speed boost upon taking damage. That's not super useful, is it? We'll go and uh, smelt that down. Thank you. Not much to do this floor. Um, yeah, I don't think I want to smell either of these either. Uh, I, actually, let's let's reroll our gas cloud one. We've got two rerolls. It could give us something. Tears have a chance to become herming scales with luck. That sounds very useful. We'll take that. I'm just gonna say it. We'll take it, and we'll go for angel deal, of course. But this has been quite something. What the hell? I just edited the room, you dick. <laughs> yes, also just be prepared for uh, when I when I die this many times, I'm, I'm going to be bl blaming the game extensively for my failings. I'm not really going to be able to get away from that because it's none of it's allowed to be my fault because I'm a flawless Isaac player. I will, I will get back to actually being good at Isaac eventually, but for now, it ain't happening. I mean, look at that dodge. I, I, I walked directly into a shot from an enemy that very, very clearly fires in two different directions. And I just thought, meh, kind of funny if I just walked into that, wouldn't it? Ew. One of these rooms. I love waiting. It's so fun. That was a fun room. I enjoyed myself. Oh, you got soy milk, do you? Not anymore, you don't. These, these little jumpers are, like, saving my life. They're doing good damage and they're slowing everything down. They're leaving little creeps of tar about. And dealing damage themselves as well. It's just all around pretty good. Also, our character's looking pretty awesome right now, I've got to say. So these are all split shotters. Stay directly in front of them. Check this out real quick. Possibly? Yeah, I think that's probably worth it. Ooh, obsessed fan. Yay. I'll take the pill. Lookup's pretty good for us, actually, because that helps us with uh, our herming shots. Not that we're getting a lot of them at the minute, as you can clearly see, but we're getting them here and there. I think it said we need, like, two luck for him to be more common or something like that. I, I, I saw that it mentioned two luck. There's one luck. So, yeah, we're, we're wanting luck ups, really, if we can get him. Because Herming's going to make our life a hell of a lot easier. Especially with anti-grav. Don't know what you do. Oh, fuck! That's what you do. Oh, my God. I just suck so hard at this game. It's, it's embarrassing. I don't even know how much health I have left. We did just get enough money to shop, though, which is nice. Check what the shop has to offer. That is very, very good, although right now it doesn't do anything for us, but if we get a good active, that could really play an important role for us. Okay, don't really know what to think of this dude. He reminds me of Bertrand. They've already hit me a few times. Don't know his attack patterns here, so... I'm guessing he's going to hatch into something, no? I thought he was going to like hatch into an enemy or something like that with that cocoon. Ooh! That's cool, but again, I don't know these attack patterns, so...
Very, very cool, but goddamn. Not easy. Chance to fire a very slow projectile that grows in size and damage over time. Hmm, this might be time to smelt something. If we have the option to do that, which we don't. Um, okay. Because both our trinkets here are pretty good. I'm going to put you in there. Size down, I do not care about. Damage and shot speed up when near fire. Eh, also, that's going to go as well. The homing one's just going to leave us be. And we're going to come over here and uh, grab this bad boy. Because I think that could be kind of interesting. I don't know how common... Oh, there you go. So it's basically like a lump of coal shot, essentially. Um, I'm going to try and find my secret room here, but I'll be honest, I'm pretty bewildered as to where it might be. I'm guessing it's between this room and the next, so I think it's going to be down from the next room. I'm pretty sure it's here. What does that say? I didn't even see what it said. Um, all stats up while actively pressing up against rocks. It's kind of interesting, but again, I think I'm going to get rid for uh, better stuff. So I think what I'm going to do here is go over here, push you into that. Or are you just giving me the same one back? Is that all you're going to do now? Yeah, sadly so. I was hoping I could cheese that guy from more HP, but oh well. Okay, good enough. I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on so far. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I lost my herming thing, but honestly it wasn't activating enough to be worth it. I needed like a considerable amount more look upgrades to make it like pop. And it just wasn't, so... Away we go. We could try and find second secret room, which is honestly pretty likely to be here. Very nice. That's a very cool looking second secret room there. Extra black art. Certainly make up for all the damage I took on the boss fight. I don't know what health I'm on right now, but it should be pretty good. Yeah. Right. I don't want to smelt the scuzzit thing to me, because I think that that's really good as is. I might want to smelt the charcoal shot onto me. It might just make him, make him a little less common. I don't exactly know. Right, blue boy there. Take care of this mushroom in the middle first. Oh, for God's sake, it still hit me. Blue boy. You're taking a while to die, Mr. Blue boy. Yeah, honestly, our fire rate's really good at the moment. I really want a good active to work with electric dice. That would be my next big thing for this run. Electric dice is so fun, but if you don't have an active to go with it, it's not going to be useful. That's good. Okay, so that's our first... That's our first inkling of wanting to smell something. So let's go smell our charcoal thing if we can this floor. I think we should be able to, and we'll pick that up. It gives us 20% damage increase when close range. Here you are. We'll charcoal, uh, smelt that charcoal to ourself. And we'll make our way back over to that focus crystal. An extra 20% damage while we're near enemies. It sounds very, very useful to me, so I'll 100% take that. Beautiful. It's good that it actually gives you the radius as well. We can play it, like, sort of purposely near enemies to get a bit more out of it. Sticky Nickel there doesn't do much for us while we have no bombs. Ooh, this I might as well play. We got a Soul of Isaac out of it somehow. I'm not exactly sure how. But I certainly ain't going to disagree with it. Quite like a Soul of Isaac if I see one, so thank you. This is probably the way to the boss looking at it. 
Ow. I'm trying to utilize the um, extra damage bonus, but I don't I, I don't want to sacrifice health to do it, which is what I just did there. So let's be a little more careful than that. This room especially, we don't really care about the damage bonus because these are explosive enemies. They have a very big widespread shot on them after they die. I really like the, uh, the multicoloredness of our shots going on right now. Dude, that guy jumped for, for fucking Britain. I love the noise it makes with uh, the crystal as well. Check out our shop as well if we can. The stars card? I'm just going to pop the stars card. Thank God I like this item, because if I'd have been, wanted to use my Soul of Isaac on that, I'd have been kind of pissed. <laughs> I, I really don't like the crabs. The crab enemies are ones that I find particularly difficult, and they deal full heart damage if I remember correctly. Okay, nice. Grab the bomb real quick. We'll try and find secret room on the way back here. I think I already know where it is, but we'll keep our eyes peeled. You've landed in an inconvenient place for us, haven't you? Yeah, my little heretic, he's going to give us bonus damage on things as well, which I really like. He's going to be very useful. Damn, <laughs> they both moved instantly. Be careful of them. Yes, that bonus damage is lovely. Just being out some spiders, are you? I'll take a pill. Luck upgrade, beautiful. A lot of things with this character rely on luck, so getting that up there is useful. Damn it, stood right in front of that one. I'm not that worried about the damage we take because we've got so many means to get it back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure secret room's here. Start each combat with one dexterity, improves life gain from hearts. That sounds really good. I think I'm going to smelt the focus crystal and take that. Basically more healing. I don't know. It says life gained from hearts. That might go for soul hearts as well. It doesn't make any reference to it not working with soul hearts. So could be pretty good. Bomb both of these, I think. So this should give us... Yeah, that gave us a full heart. And this is going to give us a full heart as well. Yeah, that's that's very nice. That is very, very useful. If that goes for soul hearts as well, that, that's going to be busted. That's going to be super useful. Because on reading it, initially I thought it said only red hearts, but I think it'd specify if it was only red hearts, wouldn't it? Like, let's, let's see if with this, are we going to get one or one and a half hearts from this? I think we got one and a half there. I'm not 100% sure, I'll be honest. Ooh, I wish I had flight right now. You are set for death, my good sir, as are you. What does this do again? Okay, this is just the donation machine replacement thingy. I'm not that bothered about that. Joker. This is tricky, because... I'm just going to pop the Joker now, even though my Angel Chance is pretty high. I'm going to take Purgatory here. Just because I just can't be asked messing around with the Soul of Isaac. I realized that it would have been better to go into my Angel deal with the Soul of Isaac, but I couldn't be asked walking back and forward. That was definitely like a very suboptimal play, especially if we end up getting the Angel deal here. People are going to be mad at me, but I don't really care because it saved me time. And this runs already long as it is. This is a really hard boss. Fires a lot of shit at you. Dude. Chill. Okay, we didn't get the angel deal. Okay, that makes me feel way more vindicated than what I did. Um, empowers golem trinkets you earn by a small amount. Okay. By earn, does it mean hold or all of them? Either way, I'm going to go smelt that.
I realise that'll be an even smaller amount with it smelted, but hey ho. Right, grab that. And we make our merry way onwards. The good thing about uh, runs where I die a lot is it does make for a longer run, and people generally enjoy the longer videos, so. Ow. Ooh, lock upgrade again? Hell yes. Wonder where our Soul of Isaac is going to come into play today. This is a good rune. Especially when we get a Soul Heart out of it. And a chariot card here. A sum card for this wave. Probably should use the chariot card on this wave here. This is where the bonus damage comes into play. I don't think it's 20% anymore, but still. Sun card here was very, very useful. If we get a bomb, we can go into our secret room. Let's go to the item room now, though. And the shop as well, actually. Let's take a roundabout way to get there, unfortunately, because we don't have the uh, quick access through the secret room. But this room is not FPS friendly in any way, shape, or form. The game does not like this. Okay, one of the heads is chasing. It's going to explode. Oh, God. I tried to dodge it and... We'll get it up. Okay. We've got a mini boss here as well. Hey, there's the bombs. Good, good. Another luck upgrade. Okay, we need some luck based effects like right now. Not taking that, I don't want to look down. Just in case. Okay, the hands are here. And the item room is right here. What do you do again? I don't remember. Thank God I didn't stand in front of you to find out. Dead bird. Okay, not particularly good, like, like not, not, not much better, but decent. Decent enough. I'm gonna crack that a minute. I do want to use a key for this because I have more keys than bombs. And there you go. There's a lot more bombs anyways. School bag. Still need an active to actually go along with all this, but I will take school bag in case we end up finding an active. I don't know if school bag increases your chance to find an active, actually. Large, uh, large tiers up, the player never stops firing. How large a tier up do you say? Wait. With anti-graph, this is pretty terrible. <laughs> I'll be, uh, I'll be smelting the hell out of that, I think. Turn that into health. Or I could re-roll it. Yeah, let's, let's try re-roll it. If a trail of lime, eh, that doesn't really help us, to be honest. And I walked into a fire, so that's good. Spawn a radial shockwave. I don't really care about on damage effects. Right, we exit. I really should have been holding that while picking up all those soul hearts, shouldn't I? That was a bit of a blunder on my behalf. No reason not to be holding that while picking up HP. We lost out on a few bits of HP there, but it's, it's not a massive problem. Ow. What the hell was hitting me then? Oh. Oh, it's Leech. I thought there was an enemy. I ugh, completely forgot I picked up Leech. I'm like fucking shooting the hell out of this Leech, and I'm like, what the hell? It's not dying. It keeps damaging me. Turns out I'm just getting hit by random shots because I'm not paying attention. All I'm looking at is the leech that's on my team. Good, good. We're doing good damage. Honestly, our combinations of things that we've got going on right now are pretty good. Guppy's collar helps. Good old 50% chance to respawn from that bad boy. I like the detailed respawn mod. Pretty useful. Boot hopper coming our way. Oh, how did I not get hit there? Wow.
Then we got, oh, these spiders. These spiders spawn so many black spiders when you kill them. I'm getting slight RSI now from uh, holding the trigger for so long, but we'll get used to it. I think my familiars do more damage to enemies that are in the circle as well, you know. Death card, why the hell not? Damn you! Troll bombs having random, uh, random fuse times screws me so often. Um, spawn one to ten keys. I like the idea behind that. In fact, we might as well play this guy a little bit. Unless it spawns one key. I'm still going to play him a little bit. Screw you, card. You can't stop me. But that can. Right. Out of here. Ooh, love this boss. Although, this boss is kind of hard if you can't kill him fast. And I don't think we'll be killing him fast. Try and get that bonus 20% damage where we can. Oh, damn it. He got me. It's fine. It's fine. Our health is still good. There you go. We got him. And we got ourselves Cracker Jacks, which I quite like. Which gave us... Fire a single weak tier when, tier, um, when a tier is fired. Um, increments his angle each time. How does this work, then? That's kind of useful. Um, permanent geode bonus when smelted. Okay. I think we smelt... Do we... Wait, do we have the option to smelt this floor? I don't think we do, did, do we? We don't. Okay. So, I think we... We just do that to that one. Have a little look-see. This is tricky. Um, I definitely want that. I also definitely want that as well. This is... Damn it. This is hard. I'm sure to stick with what I, what I know. You can get smelted down here. Also, I should go into my angel before it disappears. The Bible? That's an active, but it really fucking help. <laughs> Damn you, game. I've been waiting so long for an active and it gives me the fucking Bible. What up, beater? Did the Bible give me a mort an immortal heart? I'm picking it up also. I think it did. I mean, we've now got flight, which is nice when we need it, but... Not really what I was looking for. Also got an instant mum kill. Kind of nice. I guess I'll play you. That was pretty good. Got the payout straight away there. And we've got good luck for euthanasia as well, so should proc a decent amount. Ugh. We're getting some trash. Some absolute trash. I'm trying to steal things from people. Grinds into a common or rare geode. Okay, we'll grind that then. Right. Grind that boy. When the player drops to one red heart um, or less, heals red heart and breaks. One soul heart if holding of the geode. Not very good for us, is it? Let's uh, re-roll that again. Want a blue fly each new room. Okay, we'll smelt that. Why not? Seems useful. Do you know what? I'm I'm just gonna smelt this one now. I I like the 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 normal effect of it when it's not smelted. I don't want to weaken it off really, but I want to make room for some stuff. Also, is that? Is that a door mimic in here? <laughs> that's that's buggy. That's not meant to be a thing. 
Yeah, I'm just kind of getting sick of holding on to the same thing. I want a bit more options. Okay. Do you know what? This is a room that just calls for fusing flight to make it easier. Thank you. <laughs> so much better. I don't want to play that weird game. Ooh. Unlimited bombs for this floor could be kind of nice. Stay out my way, burn. God damn, things are dying really fast sometimes. Oh god. It's okay, we've got an immortal heart. That'll get regenerated for us. I just want to say, I'm checking the shop just in case. There's also two no uh, trinket machines in here. Ow. Lost my immortal heart. Lovely. Do what I will call a wham bam thank you man right there. What happens if you bomb these? Gave me a half red heart, I guess. That's something. Give me a good active. I've had electric dice for so long. Just give me like a bloody Krampus's head or something. I don't know. Just something that's got a bit of oomph to it. A box of spiders, perhaps. It would be so nice. It would be so easy for you to hand me it. Why not save myself some time in a room like this? Yeah, tricky bit of a room here. Invincible enemy and all that. I think boss is this way, I'm pretty sure. The fool. We are nowhere near in time for boss rush. That happens sometimes, though. Uh, after this, I'm going to... Get myself down to the gym, I think. Just do a bit of a workout. I've got some work to do, but some of it I can do while I'm at the gym, because it's just taking calls and stuff. So as long as the music isn't blaring too loud, that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, which is it's just kind of nice to be able to do that, to be honest. But what the hell's this thing? Oh, that's kind of interesting. We don't need that right now, though. I suppose I might as well just pop it and then press down. You choose down. So whenever I'm pressing down, I get stout. That's decent. Why the heck not? We've seen our item room already. Ooh, damn, you, you just about caught me there. Getting a lot of sacks. Is that is that one of the things we smelted? I think it might be. Yeah, like the thing to replace drops with sacks. I'm fairly sure that's something we uh, we smelted. Okay, this is slightly harder. I'm going to use the, uh, do you know what? I just used the Bible, then realized we've got mum on the next room. So, very bad idea to use the Bible here. Completely pointless. Would have been way more worthwhile to use it after. On the actual boss fight itself, to skip a boss fight, but... Hey, her, my brain's small. Could you die, please? Holy fuck. I've been trying to bomb you for ages. Portable slot. <sighs> Another active that I can't really do much with. Um, I'm going to make my way over back to that room and hope there's more than one room there. My character looks pretty awesome, I'll say that. I'm guessing it's just going to be the one room, though, looking at the generation of the map so far. It looks like there's only one room remaining. Yeah. Any other way to get a charge? I suppose secret room could potentially give us something. Try and find secret room real quick. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Wasn't expecting a ghost, baby, but I'll take it. Not really sure where secret room is, I'll be honest. I may be in the crook of the L, of the uh, L-shaped room. Potentially. Like... Here? No? Clear this out of the way so I can walk around more freely, please. Slightly confused. 
could be here. Could technically be here. There you go. He's done it. And for that we get... Hector. We get Hector for that. Nice. I'll take Hector. And we actually got a charge. Wouldn't you believe it? In the time that we could have killed Mum easily, we spent a bunch more time getting a charge to kill Mum easily. That is the Isaac Manifest. Spending way, way, way more time than you have to to save some time. That is how we do it. It didn't even kill her. Um, game, if you would like to please explain yourself to me. What? I used the Bible and it didn't kill her. Um, excuse me. Small chance to fire a, a short range splash of tears when enemies are close. Eh, that's, we've had that before. It's not super useful. I'm just going to take the Polaroid here and we go down. That, that was some bullshit right there. The game tried to, to screw me. This I will take. Hector, don't eject her. Oh look, another active item that's basically useless to me. Well, I mean, it's not. It's a very good active item, but I'm trying to find actives that work with our fucking setup. They don't exist. Annoying me. I always find it funny that this works with anti-grab. Right, we can find Secret Room a bit easier now, which is nice. Ow. <laughs> I love the way Hector ejectors. It's funny. It's just like, nope, bitch, I'm out. bad. I don't exactly know where Secret Room might be, so it's kind of hard to uh, know where to swing. But good to have the option. Didn't think it'd be there. Might be here? Nope. Ooh, these guys are looking weird. I'm basically just going to swing on every wall that could possibly be a secret room and hope for the best. Which is probably a bit too ambitious. Okay, all of you die. Oh damn, the, the little dip spawned out of you, I didn't realise. Oh, there you go. See, it worked. Eventually it worked. The first pickup every floor costs one cent but disappears when bought. These pickups are spawned at the start of the next floor. Oh, that would be good if we had more floors left. But right now that's kind of trash. I'm going to pay to re-roll it a few times and see what we end up getting. Passively improves smelted rocks, gives us... Uh, Gives and smelts rock... Okay, wait. Did my game just crash? Did my game seriously just crash? I played so much of this floor. Don't do this to me. Up, oh, up. Oh. It caught up, up. Oh. Okay. It hasn't crashed. It's just playing around 1 FPS for some reason. Molten Fossil has caused some issues. We might be here a while. I'm, I'm hoping that after the pickup animation has finished, it will go back to normal. But there's also the, the very real chance that it doesn't, and we have to drop it. 
which takes around three seconds of holding. But three seconds at one frame a second ain't good. My frame rate count has disappeared. The frame rate is that low. It's sub one. The game has died. I'm wondering what it is about my smelted trinkets that that did something so terrible. It's not even appeared in my trinket list yet, so I can't even start to drop it yet. Okay, it's finally actually picked up. I can start dropping it now. I have a feeling this is going to take some time. Don't hold him above your head, please. He has nothing to do with this. I've been holding control now for around 20 seconds. We'll get there eventually. You know what this game can be like. It's truly an experience. Like I said, I was going to do things today. I had things to do, but... Honestly, seeming more and more like the game does not want me to do those things. It wants me to play Isaac for the rest of my life until I die. And by that, I mean this singular run. I've been holding control for, for a, for a, for a good, good amount of time now. If they could just drop the trinket, would be nice. Wait, I see a shadow. Is that a dropped trinket on the floor? There's a, there's a small circle shadow to the left that's this, this moving ever further away from me, look. What is that? Oh no, it's just a scuzzit. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck you. This absolute slideshow. How has it not dropped yet? Oh god. I should just like leave a little rock on my uh on my control key and then just like walk away. <laughs> The problem is, with it being this long, I don't actually know if it's, like, working. Is it actually pressing control, or do I need to lift up and press again? But then what if I lift it up and it's, like, 0.1 of a second off of having dropped it? And I give up. We'll never know. Why is my character standing like this? <laughs> I'd love to know which smelted trinket, which smelted rock is, is doing this. Because something's really chunk in the game. This might end up being the end of this run. Which is really a shame, because it was going reasonably well. But we're, we're well over an hour in the recording now, and this, this seems to have no end. I've been holding control for probably over a minute at this point, And it's still not dropped. Oop, I'm moving. I've pressed the move key and I'm very slowly moving. <laughs> oh my goodness. I tried to put the rock down from over your head. There you go. There you go. You put it away. Oh! Oh! I think the trinkets have been dropped. We've gained our stats back. The frame rate has yet to come back. Oh, oh, it's out of our body. 
It has ejected. I can let go of control, but we have a problem. The game is still lagging, regardless of dropping the trinket. The effect is no longer in place, but my game is still lagging really bad. Now, we have only a single, a singular other course of action here, and it's try to leave this room. But the only way I can leave this room is by the secret room door, which I would probably have to pick up my trinket again to get out of. Or the door all the way to the left, which is going to take a lot longer to get to. We're going to try and make it to the secret room door. Do not accidentally pick up the Molten Trinket again, please. Okay, we're making progress. <laughs> this is probably the most riveting video of Isaac you've ever seen. This is the true, the true challenge of this run. We're getting there though, like pixel by pixel, inch by inch, or millimeter by millimeter I should say. We are making our way. So we'll walk by the behind of this and then go up. And then I'm hoping that it has something to do with being in this room. I'm hoping that upon leaving the room, it should reset and give us back our frame rate. But if it doesn't, I think that marks the end of the video. Because I don't think there's anyone on Earth that could play the game like this. Which is a real shame, because that'll be the second video in the last few weeks that was ended due to uh, a crash slash lag. Which I always feel bad about because I feel like you guys aren't getting the, the full content you deserve. But at the same time, the video is an hour and seven minutes at this point. I feel like you guys have gotten a good amount of content out of this, or at least I hope. Come on. We're actually making a good amount of progress here. We've made it quite far. Right, let's start moving up now. <laughs> oh, this struggle is real. It's so funny. Right, we're moving up and diagonal, so up and right. We're so close. I can feel the fresh air. Okay, now we can hold just up. Come on. We're nearly there. Will this restore our frame rate? Will we get back our run? Will we get back our run? Oh! I'm gonna guess by this that's a big fat no. But this is something you haven't seen before. This transition in mega slow immersion. Doing some weird stuff. It hasn't even transitioned us to the next room yet, so let's hold off judgment. As long as we can still see orange pixels, it hasn't transitioned us. My goodness. <laughs> okay, I think we're in the next room now. Looking at the colour palette. Faded to black now. Oh. Ah, 
and the game crashed. <laughs> All that effort. Anyways, I guess that ends off this episode. I really apologize for that. I don't know what the hell happened. And I'll see you guys in the next one.